<laughs> when you were a little boy, yeah. obviously, other than football, what were you fanatical about? Um, well, that's a good question because it was just football. For me, all I ever dreamed about was football. I just wanted to be a footballer. So um, I had a really good upbringing with my family. You know, I was really close with them. But my whole focus in life when I was a young boy was to be a footballer you know, and play for Tottenham and play in the Premier League. So that was always my dream. That was always my focus. I didn't know anything else. Who did you have the poster of? Paul Gascoigne. Yeah, Paul Gascoigne was my favourite player. He was at Tottenham. I used to watch a Spurs Super Sixes games of him playing and Glenn Hoddle. Uh, were my idols growing up and uh, yeah they still are now How, have you seen Gazza recently at all uh, no I haven't he was meant to come and talk sport actually the other day when I was on but he couldn't come I don't know why but um, yeah I mean you know for me he's just he was an inspiration for me growing up as a footballer I wanted to be like Gazza in terms of the way he played um, so yeah he was just a fantastic person I think no higher praise was it Alex Ferguson said the one play he really wished he'd ever signed was Gazza yeah I mean for me, he was the greatest player that England have had in terms of ability. Obviously, he's had his troubles and had his demons and stuff, and he struggled. But he's still, for me, an inspiration in terms of a footballer and what he did for Tottenham and what he did at Newcastle and England. You know, he was, for me, growing up, the, the best player that I could ever want to be. Uh, players that you played with, who, who was the best one for you? I've been really lucky. I've played with so many good players. Um, Robbie should play for Spurs. Yeah, exactly. I played in a really good era at Spurs. You know, I was with some really good players. We had Berbatov, Robbie Keane, Luka Modric, Gareth Bale. You know, we had some great players there. So, you know, Modric was a standout. You know, he was brilliant on the ball. You could never get the ball off him. He is a, a real true professional and, you know, he's gone on to win a, a Ballon d'Or. So he was, you know, someone I'll probably look up to as the best player I played with. Do you reckon we can get him back to the club? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what about Bale? Yeah, Bale was an interesting one. I would have loved to see him come back, but I just think he's done so well at Real Madrid. He's had some bad publicity in terms of Zidane wanting him out, but for me, he's still one of the best players in the world, um, and I think he's shown that. He's kept himself grounded. He's kept himself humble. hasn't said much. Just got on with his job, and I think he's gonna. You know, I think he'll be back in the Real Madrid team, and I think he's still got loads to offer. Yeah, I mean, I th I, personally, I think as he said, he's probably going to outlast the manager. Yeah, I mean, that is, I've said that as well, to be honest. I think Zidane's obviously under pressure. It's Real Madrid. It's the biggest job in the world. So you have to get results there. You have to win things. And obviously, you know, Gareth Bale's still got three years left on his contract. So, you know, I think he's still a player that is highly thought of in, in the world of football. And, you know, I think he still is one of the best players. As Spurs fans, though, we're kind of hoping that Zidane stays because, of course, the option that they're going to go for is Poch. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely something we'd, they would probably look at. So the longer Zidane's in the job, the longer we keep Poch, and that's what's important.